Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 27th and 28th for Leos. Hello, my Leos. How are you? Okay, so we are very close, very, very to our 5,000 subscriber um, goal. And I want to thank you for that, because that's all part of you. That's us together, working together. So thank you, thank you, thank you. When, that, when we do reach it, I'll put it together a video, very short, to talk about um, the, you know, the contest that we're talking about. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then please go look at my March 1st through 16th video, because I do believe I talked about that then. Now, we are, since this is the short reading, I am using just my Dorian Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? So let's see what we have going on. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, Leo, right below, right down there. Yeah, click. Okay, and also click um, for the bell too. And no, I did not um, go live streaming this weekend. I'm sorry. It's just been kind of busy for me too. And I'm so, so, so sorry. Let's go on. Oh, the reason I mentioned Bell is that it will tell you if I live stream. Anything going on? Okay, nothing is really jumping with the card, so let's go ahead and cut. I don't necessarily feel that, uh, well, I think that when Mercury goes retrograde, this is kind of common, that you're actually going to handle it fairly well because you're going to say, well, what else is new? And it's almost like what's happening now is going to be happening then, okay? So just, just kind of take a, um, a look at what is happening now around you because I feel like when it goes retrograde, it's going to kind of come back into this type of energy and then go forward now, okay? Just... That just came to me, and I needed to throw that out there for you, Leos. Okay, three cards facing down. Let's see what we have here. We have the Ten of Earth. Earth, of course, is our Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, our money, our home. Did I mention our money? Our money. A very, oh, but also our home. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Okay, let's see what the next card is saying. This one is the three of air, okay? And this one is air is our Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. It's our, it's, okay? And this is that, that sad card. This is the one great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. So here we have this really good time. We have this good card, and then we have this other card. But the thing is, it's still, the three of air is not. This is the three of swords. It's that heart in traditional tarot that has the three swords. The heart itself is talking, this is talking about past hurt, okay? And with this is talking about, you know, it, it's carrying some of that baggage with us. But it's also looking at that we become, as Leos, um, you become, like, you know, here, here this, these doors are about to open for you. And it's like, oh, I'm a little, I, and you're so bold. You are so bold, Leo that you should just go through those doors, but it's kind of like there's still this, I don't know, maybe it's karmic. Um, there's still something keeping you from going boldly forward, okay? It's like this little path. So this, this, these two days, it's gonna be kind of like, oh, I'm really having some good days, but, you know, and, and again, we were talking about, you know, how, you know, yes, you are ready, things are changing, you're ready, but it's still like you're, you're, you're just kind of still, not going forward. Something's keeping you from going into that. But So let's see what this last card is, because this is an interesting reading for you. I mean, it's just a general energy reading. Um, you know, so here we have this happiness, and then we have this sadness. We have financial security. Then we have the need to forgive yourself or others. So, so it's very, very mixed type of energy. But let's see what this card says for us, too. The Nine of Earth, okay? The Nine of Earth, again, Earth energy is enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So what's going on here with this is, so here we have the 10 and nine of earth surrounding this past sadness. Whatever this past sadness is, it's going to resurge itself. It's gonna pull itself up again. 
or that in energy of I'm feeling like it's kind of this this energy of insecurity again and we've talked about this it's like this insecurity energy it's it's like I don't want to do this I don't want to do this I don't want to do this energy um, you know I'm afraid to, and actually this little piece in you that's like I'm afraid to do this I'm afraid to commit myself again maybe that's it I'm afraid to commit myself again and now take this as a two-day energy reading it's not like you know but it's like I'm afraid to commit myself again um, because you know it 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 didn't turn out well the last time whatever it is now is this a relationship it could be generally speaking for Leo's though I feel like you're going into a totally new work type of environment or a type of energy so it could be that too but it's almost like yes okay I I see it's almost like you're 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 seeing the positives you're seeing the positives of the situation around you like oh look at this if I do if whatever this is if I do this, my life is better, um, finances are better, okay, I'm going to enjoy myself better, uh, all of this is stuff that's going to be better, but something's holding you back. Something's holding you back. Now, this is the thing, for these two days, really think about what's holding you back, because maybe there's some validity to it, and I don't, you know, I don't know exactly how to, you know, to you you have to look at that. You have to look at that. So let's kind of let's kind of like summarize this again. The days are the two days are gonna be really good, um, positive, positive energies, offering energies type of thing. Maybe you're gonna be offered jobs, um, maybe you're gonna be offered um, promotions, and you know, and so and maybe on paper it looks really good. But then there's this piece of you that says, yeah, but I don't know if I can commit to that, okay? Maybe this is that thing again with the mind, heart, you know, the mind, the heart, and the spirit, the intuition thing going on. Maybe maybe your mind is saying it's all good on paper. Maybe your heart is saying, well, you know, that, that would be nice, but your intuition is saying, I'm just a little bit, I'm not really buying into it just yet, okay? So, I, you know... Or it could be that your intuition is saying, yeah, let's go for it. And your heart is okay, but your mind is saying, uh-uh, something's wrong with this situation. It's not as clear cut as we think it is. Okay, so that's the type of energy for these two days. It, it's like, it looks good, it feels good, but is it a duck? Okay, you know that thing, it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. So there's there's something that's, that's necessary, there's something holding you back from making that type of commitment. That's not bad, that's not bad. I mean, it's either it's either gonna be fear-based and that you're afraid that you can't commit or live up to it. Um, if that's the case, I'm gonna tell you you can, or it's because your intuition is saying, don't go there, let's not do this. It's not time, no, no, okay? And I'm not gonna say you're wrong on that either, okay? Okay. So my Leos, that's gonna be, it's gonna, it'll work itself out because you're, you're very, um, you know, you're very, you're very, very uh, smart. You do know, you do know business. You do know business. So it'll, it'll do well. Now, like I said, it could be a relationship because we are having the family life and enjoying the little luxuries. But I think it's, again, for Leos, I think that a lot of your readings will be based more on career going forward for a while, for a while. So as always, Leos, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.